Hi everyone, welcome to today's YouTube video yoga practice with me. This is gonna be a core flow sequence. This is an all level sequence, but we are gonna dive into developing the muscles in our core. So you may notice your abdominal muscles work a good bit today, and hopefully if you need to, you're gonna stay with me or take that break if your body's asking you to do so. I'll definitely stretch you out so that you feel good after your practice, but hopefully invite in some new exercises for you to add to your toolbox. Grab your yoga mat, Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. And please remember if you ever have questions to reach out afterwards, you can always comment, share the videos if you really liked it, and always feel free to give it a like. Thank you guys. Good, so sitting here nice and tall, and then starting and feeling the body. Exhale as we round. And we round. Good, and then reverse, opposite direction. So finding that circle, rounding it out. Good, rounding it out. And then inhale, hands to heart. Close your eyes here, sit up nice and tall. Set your intention for today's movement. Core focus, so front body, back body. We're gonna feel the strength in our stomach today. And if you need to modify or if you need to edit anything, please feel free to do so. And let's find that transition to our hands and our knees when we're ready. Good, palms are flat on the mat. I want you to inhale, flip your spine, so stick out your butt and reach forward. Good, exhale, give me a nice strong cat pose. So you're gonna tuck your chin and then really feel your upper back get puffy. Good, exhale, melt your forearms onto your mat. Curl your toes, lift your bum to the sky. This is called dolphin pose. It looks very similar to down dog, except your forearms are down instead of your palms, bend the knees. Good, find the strength, push, push, push into the earth. Three, two, take another breath. And then you guys are gonna look forward. Some of you are gonna walk your feet backwards depending on where you are on your mat. Some of you are gonna walk your forearms forward and I'm gonna walk my forearms forward. And then we're gonna to land together in a really, really strong forearm plank. So reach back with your heels, reach forward with your heart, three, two, nice, exhale, melt the pelvis, untuck the toes, and then pull the heart forward. Good. Bend your knees, wag your feet side to side, so massage the quads. Exhale, let the legs go. Put your hands where your elbows are, one, two, three, child's pose, hips to heels. Good, downward facing dog for the first time. Adho Mukha Svanasana, curl your toes, lift your butt. And then exhale, breathe. Now maybe you've had some movement before this class, maybe not. So just kind of listening to the body as you breathe, as you inhale, as you exhale. Take a long gaze forward to your hands, soften the knees, booty up, step or jump up. Halfway lift the spine. And then put your hands on the ground as you fold forward. Putting your hands on the ground may be a big task. Maybe it's really hard for you to press down into the ground. So maybe bend those knees or just dangle your hands if this is too hard. Good. Inhale, rise all the way up. So reach to sky. Exhale, make fists. Pull them down along your sides, okay? So I'm going to turn towards you so you can see my back. And I want you to take those fists, palms face forward, and then hug them in and down. So start to firm the muscles in your back. Good. Reach the chest forward. Really pull down. And then your next breath, turn your palms up. Inhale, reach. Good. Exhale, make fist. Pull down, 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 down. Good. Really engage the muscles in your back. Feel that effort here. And then inhale, reach back up. Remember, your back is part of your front, which is part of your core. Last time. Exhale, pull down. Let the fingers clasp right here. Good. Slide the knuckles down the tailbone. Exhale, hinge fold, bow, and breathe all in one. Beautiful, strong body that you have. 
Exhale as you fold forward. Good. Take your hands, place them onto your mat. Flat back. Nice, left foot, step it back. Lower the left knee, but keep the hands down. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, down dog. One, two, three, step back. Inhale, shift plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Good, exhale to dog. You're gonna reach opposite hand to foot, so you're gonna tap, and then you're gonna tap, and then you're gonna exhale, plank. Repeat, tap, tap, nice, exhale, plank. Two more, tap, doesn't matter where you start. Tap, exhale, plank, try not to move those hands last time, tap, tap, exhale, plank, push those hips up and back, breathe out. Now your left leg is gonna come up. So we haven't lifted this leg yet. Reach it high, step your left foot forward, lower your right knee so your chest is forward, your hands are on your mat, pull your heart through. Pick up your back knee, step up. Good, flat back from the front of the mat, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Make your fist, exhale, pull down. Good. And then inhale, palms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back with your right foot. Good. Right knee down. Inhale, pull the chest through. Use your fingertips, or if it's hard to touch the ground, if you have props like your blocks, put your hands on them. Exhale, back to dog. Inhale, plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. And now we're gonna lift the right leg for the very first time. Reach it high. Good, step it through. Lower your left knee down, inhale, pull the chest forward. So really lift the heart up, up, up. And when you're ready, step up. Good, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, standing, reach and rise. Make fist, pull it down, hold three, Two, firm those back muscles, good. Inhale, reach, and then exhale, fold in. Take a flat back, have a seat on your bottom. Good, lay down onto your back for me. Pull your knees into your chest for a moment, rock side to side. And then exhale, we're gonna take crow pose on our back. So knees bend 90 degrees, put your toes together. Split your knees apart, raise your arms to the sky. Palms push to that ceiling, okay? Now exhale, pull those knees in tight, plug the triceps over the knees, hold it. Three, two, now stay connected as you rock. Ready, up, down, up, down. I know your elbows wanna move, don't let them, one more. Good, lay on your back, hold it. Drop your head, drop your feet. Now that action, that crunch, is exactly what we want to find in real crow. Let's try it again. So inhale, arms up, knees at 90. Exhale, crow. Good, inhale, release, head and knees. Exhale, crow, feet together. Two more, inhale, feet forward, arms up. Exhale, feet together, knees to elbows. Inhale, last time, exhale, crunch and hold. Good, inhale, reach and hug, perfect. If that didn't make sense yet, it's about to. Rock up, and then take a forward fold, exhale. Good, breathe out a few times here. Just inhale, exhale, relax. And now, think about that same action. So, crunch forward, just like crow. Palms flat, okay? Just as if we were pushing into the ceiling. Raise the heels, bring the feet together, open the knees. See my knees, they're open. Bring them to the upper arm, shift forward. Use your core, use your core. Remember that crunch? And then try to pull your heels up into your bottom. Three, 
strong to jump back if you want or step if you're gonna jump back, you're not sure, watch. I land in chaturanga. Boom. Good, back bend. And then exhale, down dog. So jumping back is definitely more advanced. So if you're not comfortable, totally okay. Let those knees bend, push back with your heart. Good, inhale. Open your mouth, big sigh. Right leg lifts, breath in. Step forward, exhale. High lunge, so raise your arms, biceps to ears, come on up. Good, breathe in. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Shift forward, hover your chest. Feel the crown of your head reach straight ahead. And now take the arms back, palms flat, pinkies hug in. Three. Let's shift forward. Two. Good. Inhale, breath in. And then on your exhale, frame your foot. Step to plank. We're going to lower the right forearm for side plank. So scissor your feet. Option one, stay here. Option two, pick up your left foot. Pull your knee to your chest. Step the ball of your foot behind you. And then invite in a really nice back bend. Lift your pelvis, guys. Think wild thing. Three. Two. Side plank, meet here. Forearm plank, meet me here. Good. Exhale, dip your hips left and right. Let's go. Dip. 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 We have four. Three. Come on. Two. One. Hold it. Drop the pelvis. Untuck the toes. Pull the heart through. Slow your breath. Good. Find that nice deep stretch here. Exhale, go flat. Hands where your elbows are. Your choice, hands and knees, okay? Or curl your toes, lift your knees, firm your quads. One, two, three, plank. Push. Meet in down dog when you're ready. No rush to get there. Exhale, open your mouth, breathe out. When you're ready, peel your left leg up. Nice. Hold it here, big stretch, and then step forward. High lunge on this side, bring your arms up. So look at your front knee, make sure it's lined up with your middle toe so that that knee isn't wobbling left to right. Really firm in both your legs. Hands to heart center. We're gonna isolate here as we come forward, you're gonna freeze. So do not lay on this leg. All right, your coffee, your water, your wine, whatever you're enjoying, right? Could be right on your upper back. So push through your back heel, bend your front knee forward. Three, squeeze your left butt cheek, two. And then inhale, come on up, nice work. It's a hard one to hover forward. Bring the hands down. Step back to plank. We're gonna go side plank on the left forearm. So lower, this is a much easier than using the palm because of the shoulder. Stay here, okay? Or pull your right knee in. Step the ball of the foot behind you. It's like wild thing. And then reach up. So I'm pushing into this wall over my head or you can reach straight up. Use your hips, push. Three, two, exhale, side plank. Hold it, hold it, yeah. Forearm plank. Super strong, we dip those hips again. Let's go, left, right, come on, left, right. You've got four, three, two, one. Hold it, pelvis, untuck, heart. Good, you made it. Find your breath. Exhale, lay flat. Now send your elbows out, three o'clock and nine o'clock. So to the left and right sides of your mat and put your forehead down your fingertips. Take three deep breaths into your back. Good. One more deep breath into your back. Big, big breath. Breathe in. 
Big, big breath, breathe out. Nice, now inhale, bring your head up. Stay glued to those knuckles and then lower down. Repeat, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Don't go faster, stay with me. We've got four, three, two. Yes, you can, one more, bring it up and down, nice. Perfect, hands under the armpits, your choice, hands and knees or plank. If you're going for that full plank, pick up your kneecaps first, so make your feet strong. Now, your quads are active, pick up your belly button, and then one, two, three. Zoop, and then downward facing dog. Nice job. Reach, opposite hand to foot. Reach, opposite hand to foot. Plank, reach, opposite hand to foot. Yeah, back to a little core. Opposite hand to foot, plank, twice more. Tap, tap, flexibility guys, range of motion in those shoulders and arms. Tap, tap, last time, plank, exhale, lift those hips, hold your down dog. Yes, 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 breathe out. Let's raise the right leg up to the sky, inhale. Step forward, exhale, we're returning to high lunge. Good. Now, this time, instead of shifting the chest forward, we're gonna rotate the chest to the right. So you're gonna create what we call an upright twist. So you'll notice my right arm is kind of out, it's not back. So I'm gonna take my right shoulder, assist it, and then twist, good, three. You can look forward or behind you. I'm gonna look forward, my neck is tight. Two. And then inhale, both arms up. Exhale, both arms down. Glue the left hand on the mat, raise your right arm, take your low twist. Good, push your hips back, bend your right knee forward, keep twisting. Take another breath, hamstring stretch, right hand down, pull your hips back, stay there, or shorten your stance, pyramid. So when you do that, you just wanna make sure your left toes are turned out to about 10 o'clock. Fold over your right shin. Let your head dangle, let it relax. Good. Step your left foot up to meet your right foot. Take a flat back from the front of your mat and then fold. Inhale, standing. Make your fist, exhale. Squeeze the muscles in your back. Good, start it, let it start to feel more natural. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bow. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, vinyasa, so that's your chaturanga, your up dog, and your down dog. Strong, strong, strong. Nice job. Breathe out. Left leg, breath in. Step it through. High lunge. Good. Now, hands to heart. Start to reach your right arm forward, your left arm behind you. And then again, I'm gonna take my left hand, take hold on my left shoulder, pull it back, and then reach. And then I'm gonna look forward just because it feels better in my neck. You're welcome to look back at your left fingers. One more breath. Inhale, breath in. Exhale, hands down. Right hand down. Twist, reach. And again, you're gonna notice side to side in your twisting, life's a little easier on one side than the other. Left hand lowers to ground. Good, pull those hips back. Shorten your stance, right toes turn. Exhale, bow. 
Nice, strong, beautiful body. Stay here. Look forward, step up. Inhale, hands to shins. Good, put your hands on your hips. Come all the way up. Good, reach your arms up. Make fist, turn on the muscles in your back. Three, two, now keep your fist. Bring your elbows 90-90 so your palms can release, palms up, fingers forward, okay? I'm gonna turn my back to you again. And I want you to squeeze your thumbs and then bring it back. Hug in and then bring it back. Let's do four more. Four, squeeze your scapula. Three, you should be standing up really tall. Your stomach should be hard as a rock, right? One more. Good, and then palms forward, reach them out all the way up. And then again, that range of motion in the shoulder should feel more free, more open. Exhale, fold, that's the goal, guys. May not be where we are today. Halfway lift, vinyasa last time. Look forward as you lower. Transition the gaze slightly up. And then let's take child's pose, hips to heels. Slow down your breathing right here. Breathing in and out. Good, now remember where we started in that on our forearms and dolphin. We're gonna give that one more try, okay? So curl your toes, bottom up. Exhale, see if you have a bit more room. Option one, stay. Option two, shift your chest forward and back. Four more, four, three, breathe in and out, two, you got one more, okay? Shift forward, big press back, hold it, lower your knees, beautiful job, sit on your heels, and this is going to feel funky, but take your hands to your shoulders and swim. Good, so imagine this is how you slam in a pool with your elbows going forward. And then backwards. Good. And now inhale, reach up. Good. Exhale, hands come down, cross your ankles. Maybe you can sit back over those heels, maybe not. Depends on your flexibility. Come to your butt any way you can. Good. And then let those legs reach out. Now give your legs some space, about one to two feet between your feet. Raise your arms up to sky. Sit up super tall. Come forward, and then when you're ready, maybe you can find your pinky toes. If you can't, don't just stay here. This is not comfortable. Put your hands down, okay? If you can grab them, grab them, lengthen, and then bow forward. Really try to reach your chest long in front of you as you ground your tailbone down, toes to sky. Good, breathing in and out. And then on your next breath, carefully come up. Good, boat pose. You're gonna pull your knees in. Bring your thighs to meet your chest, maybe. Flexibility-wise or anatomically, this may not work for you, so stay where you are. Reach forward, hold. Maybe the legs go up, maybe they don't, maybe they go out. Just don't hunch, so sit up really straight, three, Two, come on, come on. Lower halfway to the ground. Maybe you go straight out with those legs. Just maybe. Now make your legs work. Engage that core. Three, two, less lower. Nice. Big sigh. Right knee to chest. Nice job. Right piece fingers, right big toe, press. Right shoulder, pull it down, pull the leg with you. Good, left leg is long, reach it way out. Hug right knee to chest, big squeeze. Put your right foot flat on the ground, cross your left ankle over your thigh, and now hug your right knee in as you rock a little side to side, stretch the outside of your left hip. Couple more breaths. Oh, 
Hug it in a little bit more. Exhale, right foot goes flat. Left foot goes flat. Good. Right leg extends out. Hug your left knee to chest now. And then peace fingers to left big toe. I know this isn't available for all of you, by the way, so feel free that if you can't grab it, obviously you just grab your leg, totally fine. But again, try to pull this left shoulder down no matter what you're doing, whether you're holding the hamstring or the calf muscle. Good, and then pull the left knee in, bend your right knee, plant your foot for me, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, and then hug right knee to chest. Flex your left foot as you rock a little bit side to side. And then pull your knee in just a little bit tighter as you stretch to the outside of your left bottom. Good. Release your right foot down. Release your left foot down. Here's your bridge pose. Feet go flat. Inhale, bridge your hips up to sky. Good. And then exhale, lower down. Repeat that again. Inhale, bridge your hips up to the sky. Hold it. Squeeze your inner thighs towards the midline. Make your butt really hard and strong here. And then exhale, lower down. Good. Put your hands on your low belly as you close your eyes, both of them. Heel toe your feet apart and let your knees touch. Quietly feel the breath move through the body as you lay here and just notice everything slowing down after all of your work and your movement. You're welcome to stay with your knees bent and touching and your eyes closed or I invite you to extend your legs forward and to lay on your back with your palms face up or down. Strong work with your stomach muscles, strong work with your back, aka the core and how they work together. Big breath in. Big breath out. You're always welcome to stay longer in Shavasana if you wish. Otherwise, I invite you into some small movements to allow the body to wake up peacefully when you're ready. And then take your time moving to seated. Again, if you're ready, no rush. Close your eyes if you can. Whether you're seated or on your back, feel the work you just put in. Thank your body for choosing to practice. I appreciate you choosing to practice with me online. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of today. Let's take our heads forward as we bow. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining for practice and I hope you feel well. Thanks everyone.